Hi there, this is uh, Breakmaker. Um, let me introduce to you some of the new features um, after the update to 1.2 uh, for realistic VR doors. Um, some of you have requested, uh, actually I, I got uh, three uh, requests uh, for a new feature that is you can, um, you can assign specific key instances to specific doors so that um, obviously not um, all keys would work with all doors. And um, yeah, I've, uh, this has been implemented and um, um, I came up in a way that is, um, uh, that is flexible. So let me show you first how, how this works in, in, in the editor, setting it up. It's extremely easy. It's a, uh, a process of maybe like a half a minute and then um, show you what that means in virtual reality. If you, for example, insert a key, a wrong key in, into a lock, what happens then? All right, so let me just uh, get my details panel here. So you, you um, as like uh, before, all the parameters are exposed on, on the parent door. So even though there are a lot of child uh, actors that are, um, that are um, registered on, on, on the door, all the parameters are, are exposed and piped through to the door. So for example, in this case, uh, you, you scroll down and look for lock has no key preference. If this is enabled, then this feature doesn't work, and all keys work with with all doors. Uh, but if you um, if you disable it, like I did, then you can essentially just uh, uh, pick an actor from the scene, and it it is a key actor, so you can only select keys. Uh, like let me zoom in so that you see better. Uh, if you select this key, as you can see, I've already pro provided a text that this matches with this door. However, this key doesn't match with this door. Let me just do it again. You select it, or let me clear it first. You select it, and now, now there is an association. Um, I've also included a, a, a um, um, editor call function, indicate matching keys. If you click this, it, it will visually indicate where the associated key or keys are, are located. This is useful, for example, like obviously in an adventure game setting, you would kind of try to hide the key somewhere uh, within a closet or a, or somewhere locked away so that the, the, the player doesn't have a very um, easy time to uh, unlock the door. And in some cases, it might be difficult to actually relocate where, where the associated key is. Now with this system, uh, as you can see, it's actually an array. So if you can, you can expand it as you like, and you can uh, assign multiple keys to one door, for example, so that uh, uh, there, are, there may be many, many keys uh, that fit a door. And um, conversely, you can actually have one key fit many doors as well with the same system. Like if we select another one, like we select this one, uh, this, this goes with both keys. As it says up there, uh, I set it up the parameters so that it, it uh, matches with both keys. But let me, let me just uh, demonstrate how that works. Let me copy this key a few times. And uh, currently only this uh, th and those ones work. Let me clear those ones. Uh, but uh, we can select uh, multiple ones. Yeah, select this one. And then if we indicate it, it works then. Yeah. Um, all right. So let me let me clear this. Um, and now the only one, the only key that the key instance that um, matches this door instance is this one, this one over here. And these ones aren't. So let me show you what happens in VR if um, if we try to unlock the lock with with a key that is uh, that is actually not matching. Let me even enable the locked parameter because right now it wasn't locked at first and then uh, yeah so wait a second Need to go into vr i just have the headset on my table so that you can hear me through the microphone yeah so here we are in vr and as you know there is um, free locomotion because um, teleportation doesn't really fit 
well in this scenario if you want to physically interact with a door. So we try to open the door and, oh, sorry, debug is enabled, that's why there's the line. And it's locked, so we can't open it. And my battery just died on my left controller, sorry about that. But let me just use the right one. So this key is the correct one, this isn't. Um, if we select this key, we can, we can uh, insert it and it works well. We can, we can lock it, unlock it. As you can see, the uh, other feature is this affordance system. This has already been there and now there is actually a, a hint system that shows you what you need to do so that, um, so that uh, you, can, you can unlock the door. Now let me remove this key and take the wrong key. You see, grab again and turn. And when we try to turn, nothing happens. It's, I'm not sure if you hear it, there is there's an audio feedback saying um, or indicating a kind of uh, metallic sound, uh, what you hear when, when a, a, a lock is locked. And also there is, a, there is a, a tutorial hint saying wrong key. This is the other feature because uh, now let me point out that this um, hand to Key, key lock interaction is not 100% like in reality and th this is more or less um, has been a, a conscious de design choice. You see if you if you interact with a with a lock in reality your hands your real hand automatically assumes um, a sort of pinching motion for the fingers um, and this kind of pinching motion can't be replicated if you hold a motion controller in your hands. You simply do not have the physical uh, space for your fingers to assume this motion. It might be different with, with the new Valve Index controllers. Um, unfortunately, I do not own a Valve Index yet. Uh, maybe if I get some more revenue, I'll be able to buy one and then I can support it. But with Oculus Touch, it's not possible for you to, to pinch your hands while you hold the Oculus Touch controllers. That's the first reason why it's uh, not like reality. And second reason is, um, um, you see in reality, if you want to unlock a, a lock, you kind of use an interplay of your wrists and, and fingers to produce the rotational movement that it needed for you, for you to, to, to rotate the key uh, in the cylinder. Um, and you can't do the same here with current VR hardware simply because you do not track the wrist. You only have essentially your your hand. Well, of course, this is also rotated a little bit by the wrist, but you cannot like realign, hold onto the key and realign your wrist so that you have uh, some more rotational freedom. So that's why. But I would say it's a fairly it's a fairly good approximation of of uh, of how lock interaction works. Yeah, I hope you'll like it. If um, um, let me know if uh, if you you would see some more new features um, in the future, and um, yeah, thanks for watching and thanks for your interest. Bye.